A key factor when trying to predict a potential housing market crash lies in analyzing the supply and demand dynamics in play. The current low supply of homes for sale can partly be credited to numerous external factors, ranging from a pandemic-induced slowdown to unprecedented construction material price hikes. On the flip side, the demand for houses is gradually diminishing due to affordability concerns. These higher prices are increasingly out of reach for many American households, resulting in a stagnant demand that isn't strong enough to support the rapid price ascension we've seen in recent years. Also, recent data has showed that the average home buyer's housing payment in the U.S. has doubled since the lockdown of 2020. Besides, despite inventory levels being expected to remain flat, there will only be half a million homes for sale by the end of 2023. This inventory contraction should prevent any substantial price declines, making significant price drop an unlikely scenario without massive changes in the local and global economy. Yet when looking at recession data, it's evident that the overall U.S. economy is showing signs of a decline. New orders fell to record lows and business leaders from across the country are warning of harsh times ahead. The Federal Reserve's recent decision to pause rate hikes could also have critical implications on the U.S. housing market. I think pausing rate hikes for the rest of the year might lead to inflation and market instability, but an early pause could result in more favorable conditions for home buyers. You see, if the Fed raises rates one more time in 2023 and the economy takes a hit in Q4 of this year, mortgage rates could rise past the 7% mark. This sharp increase in borrowing costs will further kill demand, create downward pressure on prices, and more importantly, lay the groundwork for a housing market crash. On the other hand, as most existing homeowners have mortgages below 5%, they might not be willing to sell their properties soon. Therefore, the supply required for a market crash would primarily come from investors who held onto their properties in 2022. Should these investors capitulate and release their holdings en masse, the next falling effect will likely trigger the housing market crash. A plausible decline of 18% could be achieved, a relief for prospective buyers constrained by high prices and diminished competition but it would take a 2008-style crash to return us to January 2020 levels. As we move toward this potential market correction, prudent investment decisions are very important. Concentrating on regions where people want to live, regardless of cost, is key to ensuring better returns in the long run. Analysis of mortgage rate scenarios alongside buyer sentiments should also be conducted to see market reactions under different conditions. You have to be prepared for various potential outcomes when considering real estate investments and market strategies. Anyways, that caps off today's video, and we will see you in the next one.